Hello everybody, I am Nico D and this is my Mikotronics R58 Mini. So this has been my trustworthy main desktop for the last 6 months. And this is my Nanopi R6S, my trustworthy NAS, so my 2.5 gigabit Ethernet NAS. Both have got an SSD SATA, one with a ribbon cable, the other over USB 3. But on paper the R58 Mini isn't the best board. It only has got gigabit Ethernet. Many others have got 2.5 gigabit Ethernet. It doesn't have got NVMe. I am running it from an eMMC. I think it's 64 gigabytes. So that ain't the best either. So I was thinking about replacing my Mikotronics R58 Mini with another RK3588 board. I do have got many, so I've got a lot of choice. So first I tried the Mixtile Blade 3. On paper this should be one of the best boards, but it wasn't stable. So then I went to the ROG 5B and this runs pretty well. So I bought the ROG 5B a long time ago. I paid for it with my hard earned money and I never used it. So now I'm finally going to use my ROG 5B. And it isn't with Armbian, no, it is with the Joshua Rig Ubuntu. Armbian has a few problems, a few bugs that I would like to see fixed, which the Ubuntu images from Joshua do not have. So Joshua is a frequent visitor of the Armbian Discord, so there is kind of a connection. I love to see people doing things like this, picking up a lot of work. The Armbian project has gotten so huge with all the boards that are supported and even the boards that are not supported and all the different distro versions for Debian and Ubuntu. That makes it very hard to keep an oversight on the Armbian project. So bugs creep in and at times it is very hard to find the cause of these bugs. So Joshua Rick, his project is new, fresh and pretty much bug free for the moment. And I must say that I like it a lot. So everything works. So one of the bugs in Armbian is the VPU doesn't work on Chromium. It doesn't work as it should. So here the VPU works. You can play 4K video without having too much CPU usage. Another problem with Armbian is with Chromium. When you close Chromium, it doesn't save all your logins. So you have to re-log in in every account when you open Chromium again. That is working on my nerves. But otherwise for server tasks, Armbian still is the ruler, I would think. They have got all the tools. Another thing is on the Ubuntu from Joshua, Armbian Gaming is working. So you can install Box86, Box64, Wine, Wine Tricks. PPSSPP, RetroPy, Aether SX2 and more things. So I can play my games, that is awesome. So now I'm going to show you how I set up everything. So let's start with downloading the image. So to do that we go to this website. So releases. So here we can download for board itself but here in the list we can search for the correct image. It is the same, it all points to the same image. So we are gonna take the desktop image for the ROG 5B. So there is support for a lot of RK3588 boards. So like the ROG Chassis M5, Orange Pi 5, 5 Plus, the NanoPi R6S, the R6C, the T6, the Core 388 from Mixtile, Mixtile Blade 3, the Luban Cuts 4, never heard of that one. The Endidroid Nova, Armson W3, Armson 6, 7. And here we have got the server images again for all these boards. There are also test versions with mainline kernel. So here experimental mainline with 6.6. .6. They are older images, but you can test the mainline kernel with this. I hope he will make an updated release for this, but as you see, do not ask for help when you have problems with the mainline image. It is experimental. Use his fender kernel images if you want a good experience for now. So after downloading the image, let's show it here in the folder. So this is packed in XZ format. So if you use Win32 Disk Imager you will have to unpack it, but I am using Gnome Disk Utility. 
With that, you don't have to unpack it. With Balina Etcher, you don't have to unpack it. So here is my SD card on which I will write it. So first remove all the partitions. On Windows it is best to format first with SD formatter. Yes, I am sure this is the right partition, so let's remove them. And now I will write this image onto this SD card. And I'll put the SD card into the SD card reader. And press the reboot button. I don't know which one it is, so I press both. And it is booting. So the initial setup is very simple. Just choose your language. Choose your keyboard model. Choose your time zone. Choose your name. Your password. And I choose login automatically. And then there is a small bug which Ubuntu always seems to have had. So I say don't send and remind this to for the future. Now the first thing I do is of course sudo apt update and then sudo apt upgrade. Then I install a few programs. So I install Konsole, my favorite terminal emulator. I install Gnome Shell Extension Manager, Gnome Shell Extensions, Gnome Tweaks and Genie. Then I can start with setting up my appearance. So I go to settings, appearance. There I auto hide the dog, I set it to 40 and to the bottom. And now this is installed, I can install applications menu with the extension manager. And places status indicator. And then I search for resource monitor, I have to put it on download to find it. And also sensory perception. I set up my resource monitor by right clicking on it and this is it so i see the percentage of cpu usage i see how much memory is used and i see my network speeds and i can also see my temperatures so now i open console and I set it to add to favorites. And I open the other programs that I want to add to my taskbar. So GNOME Disks, Genie, Transmission, and I all add them to favorites.
I set up console. There is a bug in console. The first time if you set up a profile, it doesn't save it. So you have to do it two times. Now my desktop is fully set up, there is nothing I need to do more. Everything is pre-installed so I can watch DRM contents. I have VPU acceleration, I have GPU drivers, so all that works. So you can install this installation to NVMe or EMMC if you want. So to do that we do sudo ubuntu-rockchip-install and then the path of our partition we want it on. So slash dev slash nvme 0n1 for me if I would want to install it to my nvme. And then we have to update our bootloader. So sudo u-boot-install-mtd slash dev slash mtd block zero. And like that you can boot from your NVMe without needing anything else. If you want to install to EMMC then you do not need to install the bootloader. So now we can install our gaming apps, so for that I search for Armbian Gaming on Google and here the first one NicoD SBC and I download it, so code download zip. So I extract the file to my home folder. So here it is, Armbian Gaming Main. So I go to the folder CD Armbian Gaming Main and there I do slash bin slash bash dot slash Armbian dash gaming dot sh. And here we can install everything. So box 64 is for 64 bit Linux x86. Box 86 as for Linux x86. Then we can install Wine 64 bits and Wine x86. Only install one Wine version. So I updated the Wine version for the 64 bits. Then there is Wine Tricks. There is Steam. This doesn't work well. Then PPSSPP. This doesn't work here on this Ubuntu image. But there is something else that you can do. So for PPSSPP I use this repository. So I add the repository. Then just sudo apt update. And sudo apt install PPSSPP-SDL. After PPSSPP there is also Meliodroid for Android emulation and there is Retropy. I love Retropy, it can emulate tons of systems. I play a lot of old Game Boy games, Master System, PlayStation games, Nintendo 64, NAS, NAS. Those are the ones that I play on Retropy. Then there is Aetherize X2 for PlayStation 2 emulation. I made a video about that where I show how to get the best performance. And then as last there is also Xenotic.
So I think that will be it for this video. So I am still waiting on a SATA to USB 3 adapter. So I can use the SATA SSD that I am now using on the Mikrotronics R58 Mini. And from then on I will use the ROG 5B as my main desktop. It is better than my Mikrotronics. And also the Ubuntu from Joshua Rick is better than Armbian for desktop. So this is a great desktop experience. It is nearly the same as an x86 desktop with Ubuntu. I fell in love with it. Thank you very much Joshua Rick for the good work you're doing. Thank you all for watching. Please like this video. Maybe become a Patreon member. See you all later. Bye.